Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. This is a review of the LEGO Speed Champions 1985 Audi Sport Quattro S1. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe, and check out our Instagram page. So this set is rated 7+, plus, set number 76897, and has 250 pieces. It currently retails in the United States for about 20 bucks. I was able to pick this up for $16 at Target though, and you might still be able to. As mentioned before, this depicts the 1985 Audi Quattro rally car, which made rally history for Audi. And honestly, that's kind of where the Quattro name comes for all their modern cars. On the back, you can see the original race car, and you can see that you can put these rally fog lights up front as well for an alternate build. So inside the box, as you can see, you see a pretty extensive sticker sheet there, the new base for the Speed Champion sets, the instruction manual, and just two bags. So this is the final build. As you can see, we get a minifigure with an alternate hairpiece and a tool, and then there's the car. Looking at the minifigure first, as you can see, he has an Audi Team shirt. And on the back, there's the Audi Team logo again. Underneath the helmet, he has kind of a happy face, and on the other side, it looks as if he's about to crash. As for the car itself, as you can see, it's got a lot of stickers on it, but there are some printed pieces. This front hood is printed, and this one I thought was kind of strange, but these plates right here with these red, gray, and black striping on the back, those are actually prints. Going around, you can see that there's this yellow and white theme all around. There's the Audi logo in the front, and the car is number five. If you look back here underneath the spoiler, you can see that there are some engine vents here underneath this spoiler that says Audi Team. On the back, it also has what looks to be some way to identify the vehicle. These are stickers all over here, and then there's the exhaust pipe. I thought it was a pretty creative way to attach the exhaust pipe. They use one of those clear uh, reverse stud pieces that are usually used with characters like Green Lantern or whatever to give him powers. And just like all the new Speed Champions sets, there's space for two characters. You can just stick one in just like that and put the top down. Per the usual, they also come with another set of wheels that you can change out. If you just pull off one of the wheels, just like that, you can use the wrench tool to pop out the existing piece and stick on an alternate wheel. I'm going to put that original one back on just so you guys can see it with all matching wheels again. So this is what you get after the first bag. As you can see, it's got the fog lights and almost none of the stickers applied. There are a few, but you know, most of them are still off. Something I did notice about this set that I did not really like so far is that there are a lot of portions where the pieces could have been used more efficiently. And uh, you, you can see it behind these fog lights, for example. Uh, I really just don't like when Lego could have used one piece for that middle tile, uh, two tiles right there but they ended up using two. And I, I suspect the reason they do that is just so they can save on manufacturing costs. It's just like fewer figure or fewer pieces to include, but it just doesn't look as aesthetically appealing. And, and that sort of thing happens multiple times across the set, which I think makes the set weaker structurally. And this is what you get after the second bag. So all in all, I think this Audi Quattro Rally car is a wonderful set. I do think they could have gone a little bit easier on the stickers, but I understand it's Speed Champions, and that's just kind of the standard for these kinds of sets. Again, I always like the fact that we have enough space for two minifigures. I think this particular model had a little bit better spacing than they usually do, because some of the newer models, they the minifigures have to lean forward a little bit more, um, but still looks pretty good. I think this back part over here, it would have been nicer if it was clear, just so it would feel more like a, a rear windshield, but that's not a big deal either. Hopefully LEGO continues to make these 8 stud wide speed champion sets, because I'm absolutely loving them. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment below to let me know what you think, subscribe to this channel, hitting that notification bell, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.